Hello, this is Adrian from 3D Proto. This time I want to show you how to set up a low-cost Bluetooth monitoring system on your Android smartphone when using a RepRap 3D printer with a RAM sport. For the display of the data, I am using the freeware app Bluetooth Graphics from the App Store. The free version supports up to 3 graphs, so I transfer the hot end temperature, the actual layer height and the bad temperature to my Android smartphone. Here you see the changing of the layer height with my dual parking extruder. The Bluetooth module which is equipped with the Prusa i3 is a HC05 low cost module with a range of 10 meters. It costs below 10 euro. But even though the transmission range is very small, I can even use it one floor below in the living room, so it fully achieves the requirements of this monitoring system. You can track the status of the printing in every room with your smartphone. This is how you set up your hardware. When using the RAM spot, the serial interface from the controller is mapped on auxiliary 1. You can also use the 5 volts and ground from this pin row. Don't forget to use a voltage divider because of the different voltage level between the board and the HC05. Here I'm using 1K and 068K. All you need to do is configure your Bluetooth module and connect VCC, ground and TX from your board to VCC, ground and RX of the Bluetooth module. You don't need to connect RX from RAM's board because this is only a unidirectional transmission. The next step is to make some modification in the Marlin firmware. First you need to change the board rate in configuration.h. Then open marlin underscore main dot cpp to add an additional M command. M180 is not used yet, so I defined this one for transmitting my data to the Android app. The app is using the format E, then the first value, comma as a separator, the second value, comma and the third value ending with a backslash N. Now you can flash the firmware into your RAM board and test your new M command by typing M118. When you get the expected response, everything works properly. Now the last step is to add the new command into your G code. Therefore, you can add M118 into the custom G code, or better, use a post processing script to add M118 into each couple of lines. That's it! Now you can monitor your 3D printing while you're watching TV in the living room with a low cost system. For more information you can follow me on Google Plus or visit my homepage 3d-proto.de